Well, hello there, guys, and welcome to another Graviteam Tactics battle. We are, of course, playing as the Russians, as per usual, uh, here in our fight against the Mujahideen. I'm going to try to go ahead and actually just set up a defensive perimeter, which is what we have here, um, and hopefully we can defend against the enemy. I want one of these tanks actually in front of habitation. Uh, might be a little obvious, but you know what? We can't afford to do anything else. Uh, at this point, the enemy has us dead to rights either way, uh, so I'm going to do everything I can just to withstand the assault. Uh, in the best way possible. So we'll go ahead and put these guys here, put these guys here, and we will get started, guys, on this battle. Okay, now my only orders are going to be to get the battle started and to hold their positions. We'll go ahead and take a closer look at the forces we have. And actually, we already have panic in our ranks, and this is because we've lost so many commanders um, in our previous battles that essentially we have no control over these uh, vehicles. A lot of these vehicles um, have just essentially lost their commanders entirely. Um, so that's not going to help us at all. Um, but still, we've got a few guys here willing to fight, and that's what matters. Sharanov, of course, the hero of our last battle, is going to be able to put up a fight, uh, as well as Cherkasov. So let's hope that these guys can get some kills. Okay, here we go, guys. Enemy contact has begun, and so far it looks like just enemy infantry units. Remember, we're trying to protect this town area. It's very, very important that we protect it. Right now, I'm loving the fire. The firepower coming from our men is exceptional. Um, and in fact, it's coming mainly from this brigade here, this mechanized brigade. I also want to make sure we're hitting their APCs, too. I'd love to get an APC kill, and it looks like we already lost our tank. Uh, like I said, I mean, we are really just uh, basically reliving the actual experience of the Russians in Afghanistan. Um, we have not managed to hold these guys back. We started off the campaign exceptionally well, but we just haven't been able to continue that streak. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to move up these tanks that I've been hiding. Yeah, you're damn right I have. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and move forward with these guys. And hopefully we can get some kills. It does look like we took out one of the enemy uh, APCs. That's certainly a start. And I've loved, I would love to see if Pisharenko would actually fire, but he has no commander, so... Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not going to be doing anything this battle, unfortunately. Nonetheless, I like this firepower. Keep it up, boys. Do not let them advance one step. Alright. Wow, that was a nasty little shot. Um, and it looks like they're moving all across. I'm not even setting targets at this point. I'm just kind of letting our guys do their thing. Their RPKs and AKs can do the talking. While all this is occurring, of course, our tanks are on the way. So I'm hoping they'll actually send their t their tanks to attack us here um, and not notice the fact that we actually have tanks. As you guys can see there, that's almost certainly uh, enemy tank fire or at the very least enemy anti-tank gun fire. It could be either or, really. Keep up the firepower, boys. Don't stop shooting. Got a few more units here that are helping out for sure. And actually, we've got an issue here. We've got a few APCs getting close. I don't like that, but I don't know if there's anything we can do about it. Whoa! What was that? ATGM? That was definitely an ATGM. I don't know who shot it. But I could uh, I could make a few guesses. Probably the enemy. Alright, as you can see, the enemy is all over there. In this location. Taking a lot of fire. This is basically... Uh, no man's land for the enemy. We're going to go ahead and set targets, and hopefully our guys will continue the great firepower they've put up so far. This is, of course, the enemy lines right now. Keep shooting, boys. Keep shooting. Don't stop now. Especially not while our tanks are nearly here. All right, there was definitely an ATGM shot back there, guys. I'm sure you saw it uh, for sure. I don't know if we just blew it up. I think we did. Yes! Exceptional work there, guys. The ATGM was just blown up, but I knew that was an ATM shot. ATGM shot. I saw the little flash there, and it looks like maybe one of our tankers got it. Is that possible? Or actually, it might have been one of our own guys. And that was one of our tanks getting blown up by an ATGM. I should have known that that would occur. Um, but at least we we got our revenge, kind of, sorta. Let's take a look at the enemy here. I almost want to assault, but I know better. Look at the enemy lines here, the Mujahideen lines. They're much more used to fighting in more a more mountainous area, and right now we're kind of on a flat territory, and so it's certainly harder for them to uh, withstand our forces. But they're doing a pretty good job. Is that an RPG? Yes, it was! Vehicle lost! Wow. So 
See if Pisharenko is still in the fight. I would love if Pisharenko could just go ahead and shoot a few shots off. But without commanders, these guys uh, don't really do much at all. They're not willing to really risk their lives. So this APC right now, I don't think we can penetrate it with the guns we have. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and move him to attack this position. And hopefully we can go ahead and get some more units attacking the enemy. In fact, we'll be attacking him from multiple directions. Of course, this is an issue here. Uh, we've got enemy tanks over here. I hope we can take one out, but it's not looking good for our tanks. Um, they're already opening fire. Of course, we know that the enemy tank uh, actually has a... Uh, essentially a longer range than our tank does. Uh, our tank outperforms the enemy tank in terms of close range attacks. In terms of long range, the enemy always is going to beat us. Uh, and that's going to be a problem for sure. Look at this mountain of enemies. This is D-Day for the Mujahideen. All we lack is a beach. Alright, here we go. Dushakov, is he already out of ammo? I hope not. Let's move him up here. I'm actually just going to recon him up here this way. And actually, some of our men are retreating from the front. That's unfortunate, but kind of what I expected. We did take a tank out, guys, so that's something to feel good about. Uh, obviously, an enemy tank down is great, especially since we know we're getting reinforcements in two turns. We want to take as many of the enemy tanks out as possible. We want to destroy enemy armor. And this thing just seems to be, like, smoking almost. It's not really on fire. It's just uh, very badly damaged, and that works out well for me. Okay. A look at the uh, enemy front lines once again. Destroyed enemy APC right there. So we know that we're doing a decent job. And I'd love to launch an assault here, which I, I really might do um, before the end of this battle. Because as it, as it looks right now, we're not going to win anyway. Um, I don't think we're going to win anyway. So maybe if we go ahead and assault them, they kind of won't expect it. Does that make sense? Uh, I don't know. They definitely have some snipers back here. And it's not just Mujahideen unit, it's also Republican guards. I'm going to go for it, guys. I'm assaulting the region. Here we go. Maybe we could take some prisoners. But I can't stand around and do nothing. Forward, men! Looks like we still have... Uh, Cherkasov's men are still basically laying down and firing. And that's perfect, actually. I actually want Cherkasov's men to uh, basically just hunt. Just shoot and... Uh, Keep the fire up. Look at all those bullets just popping up around the area right now. It's actually deadly for both armies. Alright, so Shmerenko is definitely finished. Unfortunately, at least we took out one of those enemy tanks. It makes me feel a little better that we left this battle with at least one enemy tank down, uh, knowing our odds were pretty bad due to the lack of commanders. I mean, the Mujahideen have slaughtered almost all of our command structure uh, so far. It just sucks that we started off so, so well, and uh, we're ending so poorly. Um, and this is kind of just the way things are, I guess. Another APC down. That's good. I'd like to see that. I don't know what's going on here. The APC's firing from the side. Oh, nice. Very nice. So maybe we could take out the second APC with just gunfire? I'm not sure. What I do know is I'm not going to wait to find out. Um, I'm going to keep moving with this guy. I'm going to fast move. Because I really want to take the fight to the enemy infantry. This is good. Korkachin, this is good. Got some smoke over there. I don't know. That could mean uh, enemy forces uh, arriving. It could mean more enemy contacts. We don't know. Uh, but smoke is usually, in my opinion, not a very good thing. Uh, it generally means that there's a large enemy force approaching. And there, sure enough, there is. We can actually see more enemies uh, over here. There we go. That's what I like to see. Korkachin, yes. This is what we need. We need to get close like this. And open fire. Take a look over here at the enemy forces. It's all about overwhelming firepower. And right now the enemy's taking cover. That's a good sign. I think one way or the other in this battle we're going to come out with a lot of kills. And uh, that's always a good thing. So we can't see it as a total defeat. But the enemy has a lot more men than we do. That's another thing we have to keep in mind. They're willing to lose a lot more men. I shouldn't say they have a lot more men as much as this is their country, and uh, clearly they're they're going to defend it. Because I'm sure Russia in general has many more men than Afghanistan does, but uh, not nearly enough that are willing to die uh, to take this piece of territory. 
And here we go. The Mujahideen are actually putting up a pretty good attack right now. We're still defending the area. Still want our anti-terror teams, as I'm now calling them, uh, to take out these guys. They've got some pretty nice cover over here by the trees. Whoa! That was another RPG shot, or at least an anti-tank rifle shot. One or the other. Was he trying to hit Korkachin? I think he was. The little bastard. Alright, this guy is now sort of lining up his shots a little bit more. I think he sees the threat ahead of him now. And he's like, you know what? I better get this machine gun in front of me. Because most of the threats are going to be over here. So let's actually hunt in this direction. And it looks like Ametov is now getting over here where the rest of our guys are. That's what I like to see, yes! Overwhelming gunfire like that. That's what I like to see. And that's probably Tishikov firing his guns. Got a vehicle loss, guys. I'm almost sure that's going to be Shmirenko's vehicle. Let's take a look. No, it's Korshigan. How could he lose his vehicle? Oh my goodness, whoa. All right, well, it doesn't look like we took a direct hit, but... Uh, we definitely took a nasty hit one way or the other, and it looks like the battle is now ending. I'm pretty, pretty sure this is going to be our men retreating, uh, but still, incredible fight here. I mean, this was an infantry battle to the very last second, and we definitely killed a shitload of the enemy. I think we probably are going to get more kills than the enemy. I might be wrong, uh, but we'll see. And obviously, a lot of them are pulling back here, trying to get away. Total defeat, and as you can see, um, we actually did get more kills than the enemy, but it's negligible with a defeat like that. Uh, we're going to be hurting in the end. Uh, but let's take a look quickly at the statistics. I always like to look at the battlefield, look at the nice work I've done, the handiwork. Um, and we've killed, of course, a lot of the enemy infantry. They're going to be hurting too, but they've got constant resupply, reinforcements. We've got very little. In fact, we have to wait two, two more turns for any more reinforcements, and we're already um, on our last legs. This is essentially our last strong force. Um, this was the one holding the main objective in the center here, this habitation zone, uh, where the terrorists were first coming from. So it's going to be really hard for us to come back from this. But we'll see if we can. Uh, and thank you so much for watching, guys. In fact, I'm going to show you guys the map after so we can take a look at that too. Guys, so as you can see here, we have been cut off entirely on this zone over here. Um, I don't see our reinforcements right now. They were here before. Maybe now they've been cut off. Um, but essentially, this is where the enemy destroyed us with their counterattack. And we do still have a few tanks here, a few uh, uh, reinforcements here that we can attack with in this general direction. But this is, of course, a serious loss for the Soviet Union. I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys the statistics here. Uh, show you guys a few of the awards our men have won. Really glorious awards here. Um, some of you guys might have to look these up yourselves. But uh, I also wanted to look at casualty counts. So let me take a look. Hold on one minute. No, wrong place. Yes. So we can see here that um, in terms of kills, we've definitely killed more men than the enemy. 699. Um, but in general, you know, it, it's it's been rough for both sides, and we could do a lot better. And let's hope that that's exactly what's going to occur. Uh, as you can see here, the enemy's killed more tanks than us. 62 of our tanks, we've only killed 56 of theirs. Um, so we definitely aren't doing as well on the armor front. But it looks like we are more or less pretty even here uh, for most things. In fact, we have many more prisoners than the enemy does. We've wounded many more of the enemy than they have of us, uh, and we've even killed a lot more of them than they have of us, but it doesn't seem to matter in the grand scheme of things. They still hold the territory, and that's what we need to take. Thank you again for watching, guys. Take care, and if you have any suggestions, post them down below, but things are looking bad. Take care.